Okay, we're back with the Dell Dimension 2400. What we're going to do is upgrade the RAM and reinstall Windows XP. It's going to get Windows XP Pro, of course, because that's what the COA is for. But I'm going to try something daring with this because I happen to find in my bag of RAM these. These are 2 gigabytes a piece, DDR400. Now, the likelihood is that this won't work because these are high density memory modules and these tend not to work in anything. But I want to see if it'll actually take them. So, we're going to find out. Okay, so what this has in it right now, I presume are Mac. I also am presuming that they are, in fact, EDR and they're not PC133. I'm pretty sure the 2400 move to PC1, oh, sorry, DDR. Yeah, it's a pair of 512 meg DDR333 modules. So, nothing great. I'm not sure if this will actually take 400 megahertz memory, given these are 333s, the bus speed might not match. But I'm going to try putting those 2 gig modules in here, and I want to see what this computer does. Well, they're in there. Can't really prove it, but they are in there. If you look online, I can't remember exactly what the limit is, but it's pretty low, I think. It's either one gigabyte or two gigabytes as far as total RAM you can put in one of these. I think it's one gigabyte. But later versions of the Dell BIOS would let you install more. I don't know what version of the BIOS this has. It's very clearly unhappy. I think it's a RAM issue. That's exactly what it sounds like to me, so it's not going to like those. Doesn't surprise me one bit. Let's see if we can get some 1 gigabyte modules working. Okay. Got some different RAM in there. It's actually some pretty fancy OCZ memory modules with heat sinks. And this time it's actually working. You can see 2 gigs. It's running at 333 even though they're 400 megahertz because of the bus speed. And you can see single channel because this system is limited to single channel memory. So, question of the day. Optical drive ejects. So we'll go ahead and we'll insert our Windows XP disk. Delete, F12, get a boot menu, or not, there we go, IDE CD-ROM, yeah. press any key to boot from CD, that's what we'll do, that's a floppy drive, so, again, it's Windows XP, Pretty typical process. It's kind of open that two gig, uh, those two gig modules would actually work, but yeah, I'm not really surprised they didn't. I don't remember where I got them from, but I haven't really gotten them to work in anything. Okay, don't care about these partitions. Installed to the unpartitioned space, 40 gigabyte drive, NTFS. And it will do its thing. Probably should have got out the air compressor and cleaned out the dust that was in this machine because, yeah, there's a little bit of it, but ultimately I guess it doesn't matter that much. So I just gotta let Windows XP do its thing. just immediately rebooted. Normally it gives you a little message that says rebooting in 10 seconds, but 
Not this time. You can see Windows XP. This would be the graphical phase of setup. Assuming everything works, which is a pretty big assumption to be making. Mouse works, that's good. I never really understood quite what it was doing here. I'll edit that out. I'll edit out that old process. Exciting new look. Well, it's not new anymore, and I wouldn't necessarily say it's exciting. I think I've mentioned it before. I've never really cared for the appearance of Windows XP as compared to earlier versions of Windows. They didn't make it any better in Vista, or 7, or beyond, but I just have not really been that big of a fan of each successive user interface. It's always just been worse than the last. It really kind of sucks. I feel like they could have done a much better job with it if they just kept. Well, then again, it probably would have gotten stale after a while if they just kept Windows 2000. I mean, they had that that look since Windows 95. That's all it would have been about, you know, six years. It just seems like every time Microsoft releases a new version of Windows, they seem keen to completely re redesign the user interface and make the user learn the whole thing from scratch again, which I think is a little unnecessary. Okay, be interesting to see how many drivers I'll need to load onto this. Probably almost all of them, but given this is a Dell, it should be easy enough to get the drivers. So we shouldn't really have a problem with that. Well, it's still at 640 by 480. Well, unless I hit the wrong button by accident. Oh. It skipped a whole bunch of steps. Is it because it's Adele? That's intriguing. I'm hoping that it didn't remember any of the previous settings. Because it shouldn't have, I didn't want it to. Probably pull that CD out. I don't know what it's doing. Yeah, hard drive LED is on. So yeah, it is doing quite a bit. It might just be because it's a Dell that it's doing some other stuff that it skipped a whole bunch of steps. Which is fine, I don't really care that much. Interesting, let's see. Oh, it doesn't know what the display is, and we are stuck at 640 by 480. Ouch. Alright, let's take a look. Windows XP, Service Pack 3. Yes, I know. Ah, we are missing all the drivers. So, I'll have to go ahead and obtain those. Alright. We could do some fun driver installs. Intel chipset drivers. And why are we going online? Yeah, we are not going online. Install now. Run. Run. I don't have an Ethernet connection plugged into this computer anyway. I'll let it do its thing. 
No. So we'll move on to the next one. Alright, close all this crap. What the hell? Get out of here. There's Broadcom Ethernet. That do its thing. I really don't like Broadcom Ethernet. I really wish that this these would come with Intel, but it's probably a CTO option. Okay, well there it goes. We have this Connex in a driver. This is for the modem that's in the PCI slot. That's probably not going to stay there forever, but... I don't even know if that's the modem, or if it's an Intel modem. Oh, here we go. So that's the right modem. Okay, cool. Didn't even show it. There it is. One of these days, it's awfully tempting uh, to try to do some dial-up. A problem occurred. Oh, no. Why would a problem occur? Except there is no problem, so that's funny. Because it's right there. Okay, whatever. Whatever you say. Here's a video driver. A screen will flash a couple of times, more than likely. No, I'll reboot later. Still have a few things to install. Analog devices, audio. I think that last one's an Intel modem that this doesn't have. Because I wasn't sure if it was the Intel or if it was the... Uh, Con Accent. I mean, I could have guessed it was the Con Accent, but... Sometimes you don't know. Well, this is one of the worst audio chipsets ever devised by mankind. The analog sound max. Hear the hard drive going in the background. Alright, so now I'll reboot the computer later this should be yeah, it's Intel. Last thing we're going to do is this which wants me to make a floppy. Seriously? I don't understand why these aren't just programs. It's really annoying. I gotta go find a floppy disk. Okay, with that done I'm going to go ahead and now I'll reboot the machine. I probably have the F12, so that way it boots to the floppy that I just created, which I hope is good. Alright, let's see. Oh, I can take this out. Don't really need the CD-ROM for Windows XP still in there. Okay, diskette drive. Starting MS DOS. We're going to update the BIOS on the machine. Press Y to replace AO5 with AO5. Well, can I hit no? Flash process cancelled. Because it's already up to date. Probably should have checked that before even bothering. Take that floppy out. Reboot the computer. Okay, 
So, we should now have no unknown devices. Go to device manager, everything is there. So, I just need to do some configurations. I'm not the world's biggest fan of the olive green, the really poopy looking green color, but I'm sure I can find a background that matches it. Yeah, like that. The silver would probably match it more, but we'll just go for that. So, one more thing that I need to do, switch to classic, category mode's dumb. Go to power options, do not ever turn off the monitor. There. And just like that, we're pretty much good to go. So, system's maxed out as far as hardware is going to be concerned. No plans really to add a second hard drive for the time being. I don't really know what I'd do with it. don't really need a data drive on here, so. That's pretty much it for that.